The 80 year old man robbed in an elevator speaking out about the terrifying encounter. Surveillance video, and you can see it right here, shows that victim using a walker, followed into an elevator, and then mugged by a man waving a box cutter. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon live in the East Village with more on this story. Sonia. Yeah, David, police at this hour are still looking for the robber who preyed on a frail elderly man with a walker in an elevator. We spoke with that 80 year old victim who says he wants the suspect caught, and as he put it, he wants him to regret what he did to an old man. Police have put out these images from the building surveillance in the hope someone can identify this man who cornered 80 year old Jose Crespo in the elevator. Crespo tells us the guy had chatted with him outside minutes earlier. Came to me, asked me for a cigarette. And I say, well, okay. Halloween, this and that, I gave him a cigarette. Then, light. It was a little bit strange. When the same man got into the elevator with him, it got more than a little bit strange. He says the guy demanded his money. Crespo thought he couldn't be serious until the robber pulled out a box cutter. He pulled out the knife. He told me, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I said, oh my God. So he pulled his knife inside my pocket and took the money. The video shows the robber forcefully taking money out of Crespo's pocket. It was about $60. Crespo says it's not about the money, it's about getting mugged in a place he's called home for more than four decades. I hope he get caught. So do his neighbors. I'm terrified now. They say too often tenants trust strangers at the door. People come in and out and you don't know and they act like they live here. But the problem is some people open the door even if they don't know them. And I say don't do that. If they don't have a key card, they don't live here. Now, the building does have security, but only at night. This happened at 2 in the afternoon. Neighbors tell us not only do they hope someone recognizes the robber and helps the police catch him, but that once he is arrested, he's not released before he can think twice about doing this to someone else. Live in the East Village, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.